Hello everyone, welcome to Ripple Funnel Tuesday, where I'll be analyzing a full marketing funnel for you, starting from the ad copy and the offer. And once I've clicked through the ad, what were the different landing pages that I visited before I was able to get my hands on the offer by filling out a form. And the last step are the different automations that I received from email drips, SMS, phone calls, and every single follow-up. I'll break it down for you step by step. Now, these are the three main elements of a successful campaign. So by the time you finish watching this, I'm confident you'll have all the elements and the inspirations you need to build your own funnel. If you like these types of videos, we launch them once a week. So please make sure to subscribe, like, or follow us on the channel you're watching this on. And even leave a comment if you have any feedback. This helps us support our channel and keep this videos, these videos coming. Today's case study is adoutreach.com. I found them on Facebook, so let's start from the beginning. This is actually the ad. It's my uh, phone stream I was scrolling through and I found, as you can see, it's a personal brand. Usually it's a company sponsoring the ad, but Alaric decided to put his own face on the brand. Then you can see the banner, very clear CTA and a simple graphics, nothing too crazy as you can see new youtube ads webinar 2022 edition register now so the offer is very clear and i always emphasize and talk about the offer because i see a lot of ads that do not make it clear to me from the get-go why am i clicking on what am i getting on the other side so that's really good and really important to clarify from the copy from the banner and so on now the second part of the ad is the copy you can see here brand new youtube ad strategies for 2022 and a little bit of a copy. Most people will stop here, but Alaric decided to actually invest a little bit more in storytelling and explaining what am I getting from this webinar. I think this is a good strategy. It pays off long-term and I'm pretty sure conversion is impacted based on the copy you add here. So if you are to add this copy, make sure it's well put and describing exactly what's on the other side, okay? There are different content strategy. I'm sure you can look these up. But overall, they did well. Uh, they did very well in here, and kind of building a little bit of, um, you know, case and explaining what to learn, what we will be learning from this webinar. Now let's look at the link. I always analyze the link because it doesn't stop once the ad is done. Tagging your links appropriately is going to help you identify where traffic is coming from and what's converting best. And you'll find out about this in a second. Now let's look at this. This is URL, but then it follows right here. Add ID is just random ID for now. And by the way, Google recently started supporting what they call UTM underscore ID. That's a new UTM variable they're supporting. So it might be good to introduce it in your future campaigns only if you need it because it's an optional field. Then you have the campaign tofu. Usually this represents top of the funnel and they added a little bit more kind of identifiers for their own sake. Whether you add these or not, this is totally up to you. It could be anything really. But in this case, they just tagged it in a way that they understand what that is. Okay, so this is exactly the entire sentence that was tagged for this ad. Okay, so the campaign name is Top of the Funnel, Conversions, Management, New Webinar, 2022 Ads, Darniel. All right, now you have the sources, Facebook, the medium is cost per click CPC. The content is the new webinar with Alaric plus two. And this could mean the banner or the copy, depending. The term maybe is also the banner or the CTA. And the rest are tagged by, I think this is a HubSpot tag that's being added. Very well done on the ad. Great job on the tagging. Now let's look at the retargeting ads on Facebook. As I scroll down, this is the second ad. This is after I've signed up to the webinar. So I'm a little bit down in the funnel. And this is why if you look on here, he's given me lifetime access for a new tube advertising masterclass for 97 bucks. Now, this is where this is where the hard sell comes in. The first hard sell to be specific. The offer was a free webinar. The second offer, $97 course. You can, you can see the strategy in the pricing here below a hundred bucks. And they have a premium product where I speak with their team. They help me 
set things up, which is a premium product, obviously a lot more than that. I don't know the exact price, but the strategy of moving me from a free to a little bit of money investment and then down the road to a full investment is a very smart way to get the funnel going. Now, from a tagging perspective, look at this. UTM is bottom of the funnel. So you see why tagging is important because if I click on here and end up converting, the conversion should be attributed back to the ad and then I can get my return on ad spend properly mapped out. All right, I really like their funnel strategy or their ad strategy, the copy, the graphics, and the tagging are all in place. So that's phase one. Let's move on to phase two. This is where we go through the landing pages. So this is the first page right here. You can see how to scale your business seven to eight figures with laser targeted YouTube ads. So the main headline is very clear and you have to, I repeat, you have to make your headline as clear as possible so people are seeing the consistency between your ad offer and what you're getting here. Now, one other element of a successful page is the removal of any URLs or distractions. There are no URLs here or links. It's not a website. So it's very simple, removed from anything else. I can either convert by filling out the form or I can close the tab. So 50-50 chance. Very basic branding. I think this is not the right UI, maybe making it um, a tag under the button. It looks like a CTA as it is. Not a big fan of this one, but the CTA is nice and clear. Reserve your spot now. You have the time and the hour with Alaric. Now, this is the trick here. This is not a live webinar, you guys. This is actually a pre-recorded webinar. And there are dozens of products that you can deploy today to have an evergreen pre-recorded webinar that runs a few times a day, okay? So let me show you a little bit what's going on on this page. I just refreshed it. Now, the first thing they have on this page is an exit pop-up. When I'm hovered over outside the frame, it automatically said, wait, don't miss your free training. Now, I'm not a big fan of this type of pop-up because it's not as consistent on mobile and cookies now are sometimes completely off on some cases. So how it works and when is a little tricky. However, it could work in some scenarios. Now, scrolling down, there's a 32 minute window and this is evergreen running webinar is using webinar jam. What am I learning from this webinar? Really important. You guys don't miss these because you have to tell people what they're learning another CTA and then all the footer jargon here. Okay. So I think they hit the nail in terms uh, on the head in terms of where of the successful landing page for best conversion. Uh, the only thing that I think was missing, maybe some social proof somewhere, but it's not a big deal because it's an event, it's a webinar that he's not selling me anything yet. Okay. If I click on reserve now, it's going to open up a form that's being fed but his, by his webinar, evergreen webinar product, which he's using webinar jam. All right. Now, there are dozens of other products. I'll give you a couple. Webinar Kit is one. You have um, Livestorm, another. Demio is a third product. Just find the one that fits your budget best and the features that you are looking for. Some of them provide both live events where you can be broadcasting live as in Zoom environment, and some have pre-recorded options or both. And you can see the times. You can easily set these up in the product of choice. And there's a phone number because I got an SMS confirmation as well. All right, very straightforward. Now, once I filled this out, I got redirected. So this is where the webinar recording or replay, if I refresh, I can start from the beginning. So this environment is really dependent on the product you're using. But overall, if you start the broadcast, there's a countdown, um, you can type your question here and so on. Now, it's a pre-recorded. That means nobody's live. But in this particular case, what you can do is forward your questions to someone who is available for a live chat. Okay, I've worked with several companies who redirect questions to another um, department and they could answer on the spot and reply back to this person. So there are ways for you to be actually present on every single one of these live events because you don't want people to ask questions and nobody's answering. Right, that's kind of important. Now, this is a very well done video. 
He's actually pitching his $97 course at the end, a little bit more material, and also offering to speak with a representative on his team through a calendar. So he's not only relying on, you know, just the meat of the content, but he has step two, step three, and the copy was buttoned up. And mind you, not much design going on on the presentation itself. It's a combination of him recording himself and then a very simple PowerPoint presentation. All right, so don't overthink these types of videos. As long as the content is good, you should be in good shape. All right, so these are the two landing pages so far. Evergreen webinar, re repeating three times a day, pre-recorded, and then the webinar page, which is hosted on Webinar Jam, as you can see right here. All right, now the third link, which is actually the $97 product, okay? This is the page four. So this is the third upsell page, uh, or I can, say, I can say the third upsell. It's actually the second page with an upsell that's outside the webinar jam. So here is um, the pop-up. Then you have slightly different components. This is a countdown that's repeating as well. Buy now learn more again this is not what he's pitching this is just a little bit of money investment because if i'm willing to give him 47 dollars, i'm probably willing to pay him a little bit more uh, and even a lot more in some cases right as long as the copy the content is good usually people feel more comfortable giving uh, more money now you'll notice this page has a lot more substance main headline because he's selling me he is adding the social proof. It wasn't on the webinar page, but it's certainly here. So you have the copy, um, your real people, supposedly, from real companies. Always include real case studies, real people. And if you don't know how to do this, there are hundreds of frameworks for building case studies. One simple way is to discount your services in the get-go, in the beginning, if you're a new business, so you can gather results, interview, and get your client start. Okay, that's one way of doing it. So again, a lot of case studies here thrown in. Um, more case studies and screenshots from ads. Okay, I think this is good, but it becomes very cluttered. Like, I don't know if people who are want to pay 47 bucks are gonna go through all of this. So it's debatable what's the point and if it's working. Now, there's a huge scroll, guys. I can keep scrolling forever. And this comes back to the ClickFunnel way where they have so much content and copy and social proof. People feel too overwhelmed and then I move on to the next, next step. Um, I'm assuming maybe this is the same strategy, but I've seen this repeating. And if you watch my videos, you'll definitely see a pattern at this point. One thing that I've seen him not do is promise too much. Right, he seems to be, um, you know, okay. Maybe here he's over promising or perhaps putting numbers, but stay truthful with your copy because if you work with a client and he's expecting to start making a hundred thousand a month, um, and he doesn't, obviously, he's an happy client, he's gonna churn, and that's not what you want to be in the business of. So, this is in terms of the landing pages, I think, two natively built pages. And this is the checkout. And then you have the webinar hosted pages. So let's assume a total of three um, or four, including this checkout page. All right, moving on to step three here, which is uh, which are the emails that I received from Alaric. So a total of 15, 20 emails, because I have a thread here as well. So 20 emails, you guys, I think that's plenty within one week, an average of two per week, per day. Um, some of them are being sent from Webinar Jam, and some are being sent from Active Campaign. But before we dive into the copy of each, I want you to look at the emails from the outside. Everything's being sent from a person, so thumbs up on that. There, are, there is personalization involved in the subject line, like here, here. And I believe these are the ones going out from Active Campaign, not the ones from Webinar Jam. In terms of emojis, no use of emojis. And let's look at some of the subject lines. You're all set for the webinar, okay. 
Richard, did you get your bonus bonus YouTube ads training? Fine. The truth about the quality, hidden traps and advertising. What to, to do if your camera shows? There are quite few good content here um, and good copy. They invested in very solid follow-ups. But now let's dive a little bit into the copy. All right. This one is from Webinar Jam. Okay, not much going on here, just confirmation and the link to the webinar room, an option to unsubscribe and the company address. This is very essential for spam compliance. Okay, so don't miss out on that. All right, usually Webinar Jam or whatever product that you use will allow you to configure these messages so you you are pretty much um, you are pretty much set. Okay, you don't have to set them up every time. I think you can create one basic template and it will be the same for everyone. Now he switched back to active campaign. All he's doing here is telling me to look at my spam box. Maybe the webinar jam email went there and for me to kind of take it out with a confirmation and a quick introduction. And you can see the active campaign signature right here. The original message will show me exactly where this is coming from. There we go. Active hosted. Pass SPF and DKIM, but not set up, have not set up the DMARC. DMARC is becoming quite essential, you guys. Definitely look into DMARC setup. I have lots of videos on it. All right, now here's where Alaric is inviting conversations, you guys. This is really key in, in your emails. Don't make it a one way. Try to gather feedback, ask questions, engage, and drive conversations from email, okay? If you're just one way sending content, I don't think it's enough anymore and email is changing to be inviting back and forth and so on. All right, now one thing you'll notice is that he didn't include unsubscribe right there in my uh, above the fold. I have to scroll all the way down to see it. So that's a strategy of people who do not build emails designed, you know, with a full kind of, you know, centered and graphics and stuff like that. It looks and feels like it's going out directly from Alaric's inbox, but it's actually a mass email or an automated email, okay? This is why the unsubscribe is all the way at the bottom. So he actually added a lot of spaces here to hide that part. Um, it's up to you if you like the strategy or not, but this is what Alaric did in this case. I'm neutral about this. Um, it might work and might not. It's, it's, uh, it's worth the try. Okay, and now here is another webinar jam reminder. Then Jordan, another gentleman at the company reached out to me and he said, I saw your ad, uh, I saw you registered and I wanted to take care of two things. He's asking questions, you guys. Look at this, really good. Make sure you got access to the webinar, see if you claim bonus training to supplement the webinar. Love it. Um, and let me know if you have five, 10 minutes so we can figure out what will be the most helpful for you. All right, let's continue. Webinar jam, I'll skip through these. They're very basic configuration here, like so about the webinar, looks like you missed it because I didn't watch. So that, that's actually a good feature to have. And the person who signed up to the webinar never click upon the link to watch. It could mean that, you know, this is a follow on email about that. Now it's necessary or not. For me, I don't, activate those emails for those who do not watch. I simply send them the replay video. All right, so this is the replay. And now coming back here, uh, this is where he starts a little bit more kind of um, aggressive, I would say, a drip. And it's quite decent content, you know, Q and A's and challenge, raising some concerns in other ways of running your ads, for example. Why are you here in my inbox along with 3,000 other marketers? Is YouTube better than Facebook ads? Do you sell a course? So he's really uh, kind of gathering all the Q&As inside emails. So what that means to you guys, if you're running out of content, I'm pretty sure you can easily put something like this together. Whatever the objection of the person on the other side could be resolved through these types of communication. So well done on the copy here. I think it's a very solid copy and he's uh, going through it. Now, I did find him on Facebook and he's heavily invested in Facebook. And in some cases, I've seen him downplay the importance of Facebook and where it's headed. Now, 
that's a little bit contradicting, not a big deal, but it's just one of the things that was a little bit inconsistent between his copy and his strategy overall. All right, this is from Webinar Jam, another post follow-up after I've signed up and a link, um, I guess it's just a replay video, not, not much going on. And he's trying now to pitch, obviously, the highest tier product, which is working with his team and, and what he calls the done with you process, okay? Definitely not a 97 or $47 product. It's thousands of dollars worth of help. I'm pretty sure it's worth it hopefully, um, but you can see how we moved from free to a very basic paid uh, masterclass and then finally uh, to a fully done with you process. All right, so again, he's downplaying a little bit the importance of Facebook where it's headed or he's just you know finding loopholes in Facebook, which is kind of true. Facebook is becoming increasingly challenging and expensive, but it's definitely still one of the best channels to advertise and reach the right audience one of the best not the best okay and it's funny because in many places is also saying that he doesn't like to sell courses but he is selling a master class all right um so more copy here you guys i won't have the time to cover all of them but i just want to show you this type of content strategy where he asks questions challenges the person on the other side or answers what they have already been thinking about right not too much promising like I've seen in my previous funnels you know we made this much money for this person to see how you can do it yourself and I, I think it's it's good that they steered away from that so the last email that I received I mean this one was few follow on follow ons from Jordan he's really trying to get me on the other side to book a calendar and he included his calendar meeting from HubSpot and that validates my initial assumptions and the ad tagging is that they're using HubSpot to launch the ad, okay? Between persistent and annoyance, I fear I may be crossed the line. Your silence means that you're not interested. Okay, so these are typical copy and sales follow-ups. There are tons of resources on that. Finally, he's inviting me to the ad, uh, to his Facebook group, I'm sorry. And guys, I cannot advise enough on the importance of Facebook groups or any group product you use to manage a community. I like Facebook because it connects with a lot of tools, notifications, and if your audience is on Facebook, I think Facebook is the right place to go, okay? And they're investing heavily in this product, so Facebook groups is so easy, you can run something in a few minutes and invite a lot of people to it, okay? Include it in your funnel, you will not uh, regret it. Now, in addition to all these emails, I did receive one SMS confirmation for the webinar, and that was pretty much it uh, from what I've seen. Now, there might be some additional SMS that were blocked or anything like that I cannot uh, confirm, but I think the only SMS <clears throat> um, was the one for the webinar confirmation. So here it is for you guys. I really give this funnel around eight um, eight to nine because they have the ads well done the landing page is buttoned up with the proper kind of ascension of the selling model they have a pre-recorded webinar that they invested in so they're not really sitting there every day three times booking themselves for an hour very good follow-up sequence um, I would have liked to see somebody maybe pick up the phone and dial out that would have added a lot more conversion to their funnel but it's not necessary if you don't have the capacity to do it. All right, here it is. I'll follow up next week with a new funnel. If you like this type of content, again, please support our channel by following, subscribing, or just leave us a comment. I would love to hear your opinion about this content. Thank you.